Hello students, welcome to Top Scholars. Today we are going to learn an important topic and this topic will give you a lot of questions. So let's start with a question. Have you wondered why electric bulb glows or an electric iron gets heated? Is there any fire involved here? What do you think? Have you seen something like that? Now what we are going to learn is heating effect and magnetic effect of electric current and its application. So should we start with heating effect of electric current? When electricity is passing through a conducting material, some amount of electricity is converted into heat energy. Now I guess you know that energy can be converted from one form to another. Now can you see here we have a cell and because of the electricity, okay, what is happening? Because of the electricity, the bulb is glowing. As soon as the contact is lost, the bulb stops glowing. Now, what does this heat depends on? So, heat depends on the amount of current. So, can you see number of cells have doubled? Okay, number of cells have doubled. Then, it also depends on the material of the wire. Now, if the wire has different materials, the amount of heat generated would be different. And it also depends on the time for which current is passed. So, if you pass current for more amount of time, more heat would be generated. If you pass current for less amount of time, less heat would be generated. Now, let us move on to the applications. Now, when I say applications, okay, there are many applications. The applications are electric bulbs, toasters, electric irons, geysers, hot plate, room heater, electric kettle and immersion heater. Now, in the diagrams, you can see some of the applications. The first application that you can see is the electric bulb. Then, the second one is, can you identify that? That is a kettle, but not a normal one, but an electric one. Then, it is a toaster and finally, the electric iron. We will talk about this in detail. Let us move on to some more questions. Now, can you see the connecting wires? Yes, you can, right? But do the connecting wires get heated? What do you think? They do not, right? So, what is the reason behind that? The connecting wires are made up of materials which has low resistance. Now, when I say low resistance, okay, what would happen? There will be less amount of heat generated. So, that is why since the wire has low resistance, the amount of heat generated is also low. So, how does this electrical energy get converted into heat energy in these appliances? We need to know that. So, what do we have? We have an electric bulb or a heater or an electric iron. Now, what happens in them? These appliances have an heating element. Those are nothing but resistors. And what do they do? They oppose the flow of electric current. And because of this opposition, heat is generated. So, whenever current flows, through these resistors, what happens? Heat is generated. Now, as the resistance will increase, what would happen? The amount of heat generated after passing the current will also increase. So, when I say there is a high resistant material, what would happen? Lots of heat would be generated. The best example of that is your bulb. The temperature of bulb is generally around 3000 degrees Celsius. How do you get this amount of heat? The heat that you get here is from high resistance. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.